This video is brought to you by AztecaSoccer.com, your one-stop shop for all the latest and greatest soccer gear. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to receive 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new CR7 Nike Mercurial Superfly 4 in the Gala Slash Glimmer colorway. Now inside the box, they do include a couple of extras. The first extra that you get is this little tag right here, which I thought was particularly interesting. You can see that it reads, the sparkle aesthetic on this shoe will fade off during play, but will not affect the performance of this product. And they have a picture of a very sparkly shoe, which transitions into a much less sparkly shoe. Now this is something we're gonna talk about more when we take a closer look at the colorway. And if you are interested in purchasing a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend sticking around for that part of the video, just so you know exactly what this colorway is all about and how it's going to wear over time, because it's a pretty important detail. Now they also include a string bag. It's black in color with black strings. You have a white Nike swoosh with a sparkly outline on the front. And then on the back, it's solid black aside from the white CR7 logo at the very bottom. So other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box are of course the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly. And we'll take a closer look at the latest CR7 signature colorway in the new Mercurial lineup, this time in the form of the Top End Superfly 4. Now this is arguably one of the most unique looking colorways that doesn't feature a bright shade of anything. It's actually black and white with the added glimmer effect, which I think looks absolutely incredible. Everyone's gonna have their own opinion, and I want you to leave that opinion down below in the comment section. But for me, Nike has done a really good job with the CR7 shoes as far as producing colorways that are unique and really never been done before. Now this being the Superfly normally has a retail price of $275, but the CR7 colorway does come at a premium with a retail price of $300 US, so it is an extra 25 bucks to get this particular colorway, which is a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, kind of to be expected. It does have a very premium aesthetic in terms of the materials and finish that they featured on the shoe. And in today's video, we're gonna go over all the details such as what the shoe is all about, what this colorway is all about, and of course, the overall performance features that it has to offer. So if any of that interests you, stay tuned for the video. And also, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. There's a link to that down below in the description. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. Starting off with the colorway, Nike has truly given us something unique in the form of the latest CR7 signature. Now, as you can see, it's a mainly black and white upper, so very straightforward colors that would normally not stand out, but they've added a glimmer slash sparkle effect to the upper that is extremely vibrant and very, very noticeable, especially in direct sunlight, as you guys can see in the video. I have all the lights on here, as well as the camera light, so the sparkle effect is really, really noticeable, as you guys can see. Now, the graphics are straightforward. You have a white Nike swoosh on the front, and then in place of what would normally be a small Nike swoosh on the medial side, they've replaced that with the CR7 branding, which I think looks absolutely incredible. Now, the entire shoe does not have that glimmer effect. You can see the laces, the top of the laces, the dynamic fit collar, and the majority of the rear portion of the shoe is pretty much just exposed the black flying it, no extra detailing as far as the color is concerned. And again, it just has the appearance of exposed fly knit like you would normally have on a pair of Superfly 4s. All the area that is covered in Nike skin though, that's where you're gonna find that glimmer effect. So it's very, very sparkly. And like I said, extremely noticeable. This is as vibrant as you could possibly make a black and white pair of shoes be. And it really does look good. In person, it kind of has the appearance of almost being velvet, but to the touch, it has a very fine sandpaper like texturing, which is part of the reason why Nike included this tag to go along with the shoes. Now I'll read it one more time. The sparkle aesthetic on the shoe will fade off during play but will not affect the performance of this product. And you can see again, they have a picture of a very sparkly shoe, which is how they would look from right out of the box. And then as you start to wear them, they get less and less sparkly as represented by the right side of the graphic. Now, again, it does have that sandpaper like texturing to it. And that's because the actual sparkle on the upper is directly on top of that Nike skin layer. And it's not covered up by anything in order for the sparkle effect to obviously be as apparent as it could possibly be. Now you have it across the entire upper. It's even in the uh, white elements as well. 
And uh, like I said, once you start to wear the shoe, as Nike is telling you with this particular tag, that sparkle effect will slowly start to wear. Now, I'm not sure how quickly it'll go from being extremely sparkly to not sparkly at all. I'm not sure if all the sparkle will wear off or just some of it. Again, until some people start wearing the shoe, which I definitely will get you guys some updates on, it's kind of difficult to say. Again, it's not going to affect the performance of the shoe any, in any way. It's just that they wanted to achieve this very unique look from right out of the box. They did that successfully, but unfortunately, because of the type of colorway that this is and the types of materials that they've incorporated to achieve that sparkle effect, it just won't last in the long run. So you will be left with a shoe that isn't as sparkly, but still looks the part. It's a black and white shoe. To me, I'm a big fan of this colorway. I like the graphics. It's very, very straightforward. It just, like I said, won't glimmer to the same effect that it will from right out of the box once you start wearing them. So please keep that in mind if you plan on ordering a pair of these for yourself. Now the laces, as you guys can see, are black in color. They have this little shiny detail there on the inside. Depending on how the light hits the laces, the little glimmered detail looks like it's blue or gold, which I think looks really, really good. And then moving on to the sole plate, you can see that it appears to be a blue carbon fiber sole plate, arguably my favorite element of this shoe. Um, it's not actually blue carbon fiber, it would be standard black carbon fiber with a blue window, tinted window, on top of that base carbon fiber layer, so it has the appearance of being blue. Um, and then of course the studs, you have your black detail as well as your light blue detail, again to match the sole plate and the main accent color of the shoe. And overall, I just think it looks fantastic. The Superfly 4 is a unique looking shoe as it is, and when you give it this unique black and white CR7 graphic, and then of course the glimmer effect on the upper, the blue carbon fiber sole plate, it really does have a lot going for it. It's not overly vibrant, but it definitely will stand out due to having that sparkle effect, especially once they are brand new. So if you're looking for something that is low profile, being black and white, but at the same time, very, very vibrant with that glimmer effect and the blue carbon fiber sole plate, the CR7 signature colorway of the Superfly 4 is definitely something to consider. Leave your opinions on it down below in the comment section. I'd be curious to hear what they are. As far as performance is concerned, other than the colorway and the slight grittiness of the upper, there aren't gonna be any performance differences between the CR7 version of the Superfly 4 and the standard colorways of the Superfly 4. So if you guys are interested in more details on the overall performance, we're gonna go over some of those in today's video, but if you want as much information as possible, I would strongly recommend checking out the review page on my website, linked down below in the description of this video, and I'll also leave some annotations on screen to a Superfly play test, as well as several Superfly comparison videos that I have featured on my channel. So be sure to go ahead and check out those resources. Again, if you want as much info as possible, on the overall performance. Now, like I mentioned, this is a standard Superfly 4, so it features a standard Superfly 4 construction. So you have your one-piece flyknit upper that obviously is mid-cut. That's one of the signature features of the new Superfly model. The flyknit material is a knitted material made out of various types of yarns and synthetic fibers to create a one-piece sock-like enclosure for your foot. And it really does have that sock-like sensation when you're wearing the shoe. As far as the mid-cut design is concerned, the dynamic fit collar does cover the majority of your ankle but it doesn't have any restrictiveness to it it does feel a little bit strange at first but once you get used to it it's something that won't bother you at all and it certainly doesn't get in the way while you're playing as far as extra bulk is concerned now to cover up that top uh, to cover up the fly knit material that would normally be pretty slick, you do have a top layer of Nike skin, which in this particular situation does have that very glimmery effect, so it's very, very easy to see. Now this top layer of Nike skin is designed just to provide that little bit of extra friction on the ball, and this is really where you're only going to see some very minor performance difference between the standard colorway and the CR7 variation, mainly just at first I would say, just because this colorway, because of the sparkle effect, does have more of a gritty sensation to it to the touch um, again that is due to the sparkles which are supposed to wear off just based on what nike is telling us with the tag they include inside the box so it won't be as gritty once you start wearing them as it is at first um, and for the most part i don't expect there to be too big of a performance difference in terms of feel and the amount of grip that it provides on the ball one thing that is notably missing here is any indication that there is acc on the shoe there's no branding anywhere normally it would be somewhere right there you can see it's not there and there's no ACC branding anywhere else on the shoe. So as far as whether or not all conditions control, the wet control element featured on Nike's top end models is a feature here. I just don't know. 
If it's not, it's not too big of a deal. Again, I don't think it's going to make any kind of a major impact as far as the overall performance of the shoe is concerned, but it definitely is something worth noting. You're also going to notice that you do have the Brio cables worked into the Flyknit upper. They run from the base of the sole plate directly into the lacing system, and they're there as a support system. So when you put the shoe on and tie the laces tight, these Brio cables wrap your foot very, very closely, giving you that one-to-one -one sensation and a very responsive feel when you are making those quick cuts and turns, not allowing your foot to move around on the inside of the shoe, but still allowing the Flyknit material to be very soft and very flexible and essentially move like a sock on your foot. You do have an internal plastic heel counter. There is also a padded synthetic leather lining on the inside. It's kind of difficult to show you guys because it's all black in color, but it definitely is there. The insole is fully removable. You can see that it does feature your CR7 uh, signature little rectangle here in silver, which is something we always see on the CR7 colorways. You can see it has a seven as opposed to a six because the last one would have featured a six. This is the seven signature colorway. So that's why you have 0000007. Um, and then of course it says created to the exact specifications of Cristiano Ronaldo and his logos right there. Mesh lining on top, perforations throughout. And it's pretty much just a standard Superfly 4 insole. So nothing too special there at all. It definitely does get the job done though. And then moving on to the sole plate, you can see you have your carbon fiber sole plate with the new mercurial stud pattern. It's not as stiff as what we used to find on older carbon fiber sole plates on previous Superfly models. It's much more flexible. And then of course you got the new mercurial stud pattern, which also performs the part. It's very, very aggressive as far as mercurial stud patterns go, but at the same time, a little bit more stable in comparison to what we got with the Vapor 8 and the Vapor 9, as they reverted back to more studs in the forefoot and four studs under the heel, as opposed to two, like we saw on previous models. So overall, the performance aspects that this shoe has to offer is some of the best currently out there on the market. And if you're looking for the latest and greatest in soccer cleat technology, the Superfly 4 is definitely a shoe to consider. As far as weight is concerned, if you were worried that the colorway or the sparkle effect would add any weight to the shoe, don't be because that's simply not a thing. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.3 ounces. So they are again the exact same weight as a standard pair of Superfly 4s in a regular colorway I guess is the best way to say it. So again if you're looking for that lightweight feel the Superfly 4 is definitely going to provide that. It's an interesting combination of being light but at the same time offering a very interesting and comfortable fit. So while while it isn't technically the lightest shoe around, the way it feels on your feet allows you to forget that you're wearing shoes altogether and they're light enough to certainly not weigh you down either. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of the video is concerned. Again, if you're looking for something light, Superfly 4 definitely will meet your needs. And with that being said, let's move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and of course what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the CR7 Superfly 4s on feet. And as you guys can see, against a green grass background, that glimmer effect is very, very noticeable. The slightest movement really sets it off, which is pretty cool about this particular colorway. In terms of how they fit and feel, just like a standard pair of Superfly 4s, there's no difference there. The one-piece fly knit upper really wraps your foot nicely. It does have that truly sock-like, yet tight and structured fit on your foot. The Brio cables, especially once you tie the laces tight, really do a good job of locking your foot in place, giving you that thin, flexible feel that you'd expect from a sock, but at the same time, it's very structured and like I said, locks your foot in place really, really well, giving you a nice responsive sensation when these are on your feet. The mid-cut collar does not provide any kind of rigidity in the ankle. It's not going to restrict movement in any way at all, and it really provides that seamless sensation where the shoes feel like an extension of your body as opposed to a pair of shoes on your feet, especially considering that they cover your ankle and feature a completely one-piece design, so there's no overlapping material or anything like that. As far as the fit is concerned, it still is a mercurial, so it does have a tighter fit overall. So if you have wide feet, this probably isn't going to be the best option for you. You're not really going to get much stretch out of the upper at all. The way it fits from right out of the box is the way it's going to fit for its entire lifespan. So again, if you have wide feet, the mercurial series, as you probably already know, isn't the best choice for you personally. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. I would say for the most part, the Superfly 4 runs 
about a quarter size long in comparison to the rest of the standard Mercurial line or in comparison to previous models. So if you've worn the Vapor 9 or even the Vapor 10 in a size that fits you pretty snug, I'd recommend sticking with the same size. Whereas if you were wearing a previous Vapor model with extra space, you may want to go a half size down in the Superfly 4. But at the end of the day, it is down to personal preference. For me, I've always worn Mercurials tight. I stuck with my usual size with the Superfly 4 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect if you ask me. So for most people, I'd recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. All right, guys, sit for my review of the CR7 Nike Mercurial Superfly 4. Really happy with the shoe, really happy with the colorway. The glimmer effect definitely gives it a unique look. It's a bit of a bummer that they do mention that the sparkle effect will start to wear off once you actually start using the shoes. But what I can tell you is that it seems to be pretty durable thus far. I've been handling the shoes for about an hour now, and I have to say that there is absolutely no sparkly residue on my hands, which is something that I was not expecting when I saw that tag. I thought once I was holding the shoe for a long time, rubbing my hands against it, that uh, the sparkles would come off, and that has not been the case thus far. So again, until you start wearing the shoes, it's difficult to say how long the sparkle effect will last and how much of it will actually wear off. But like I said, I'm pretty optimistic. And again, the Superfly 4 is one of those shoes that is very popular right now for a reason. It's top of the line as far as technology is concerned it truly is cutting edge and it really does have a lot of positive performance aspects on offer so if you're a fan of the Superfly 4 perhaps you already have a pair you want this colorway or you've been waiting for a CR7 signature this is definitely a shoe that I would pounce on now again if you guys want more details on the overall performance of the shoe I'll leave several annotations on screen to videos I have on my channel if you want to check those out in video form or you can check out the full written review on my website linked down below in the description of this video on that page you'll find the high quality images that I took myself the full written review as well as buy it now links with the best prices online including exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you can pick these up below their $300 retail price so be sure to go ahead and check that out if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself if you have any questions or suggestions suggestions leave those down below in the comment section and I definitely will get an answer out to you if you enjoyed today's video found it helpful and informative be sure to support it with a like that would be greatly appreciated subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching